Hello guys, in this section I'm going to talk about how do you do a restriction enzyme digest of a specific plasmid by different endonuclease enzyme. So, the question is asking, we have digested a plasmid by a specific enzyme known as SMAI that gives us two different, two similar weighted fragments. So, what it means, we are exposing a plasmid to restriction and restriction endonuclease which is an enzyme that would cut the different specific site of the um, plasmid so that you can insert your gene of interest for cloning purposes. So, okay, so we have, we, we be given, to, we, we, we've been told that this enzyme would give us a similar weight. So what I would do, it means, and two different fragments are being given. Um, so I'd say there would be one here one here. And the reason being I'm saying that because if you expose it to, um, if it was being t telling us only one side was viable, it means that that a specific enzyme cut the plasma, linearized it, and no specific fragments except that was seen. But here we'll be told that two different restriction enzymes being seen. So we can have one here, we can have one here different fragments similar weighted though so in the next one we, we've been told we given a similar weight but different enzyme this time okay we have a hind tree similar function but different specific sequence so what i would do i have it here three different sites so i'm gonna say um, yes so i'm gonna find one of them there then I'm going to make another cut here so that 1100 base pairs would be there and 1800 base pairs would be there. So, hind one, hind two, hind three. So, in this one, it is telling us three different fragments are being given, no longer two. So, what does it mean? There has to be three distinct fragments. So, we have one here, one there, one there three different fragments one two and three so uh, after you expose this plasma to this enzyme you will have a three different distinct fragments under gel electrophoresis and that's how it's been done here but keep in keep in note that this is just not okay we're gonna cut it and this distinct plasma would be seen only Except similar to this one, yeah, you don't have another alternative arrangements. But this one, you can have a different arrangements. That is, you can have 2100 to be here and 1800 to be there. But for this one, it's a similar, isn't it? So what I mean by that, in this one, I'm just going to go through one map. But if in exam, you've been told to show two maps, what are you going to do is just sim take the similar pathway, but instead of writing 2100 here, write it there and make a make a change so that's a singer digest meaning we just expose it to one restriction and the nucleus at the one time in the next one we've been told we're doing a double digest two different at the same time two different two at the same time so and we give us the three this this, this distinct fragments so what i'm gonna do I'm gonna drive this big plasmid keep in mind very important point here if you if you if you chosen to pick this as your plasmid you're gonna arrange this nick fragments based upon this confirmation so if it's 21 2100 here you're gonna pick a pick a specific nucleotide that would fit 2100 base pairs here as well. You're not gonna form a 2100 video based nuclear forms in this one, okay? You're gonna follow your same, I follow you, follow the configuration you chosen. So, in this one, I'm still gonna go with putting um, first my two SMA sites here, SMA I sites here. So this is my first side, this is my second side, so we have to put to 500 there. And um, here I'm gonna, go, so we've been told 400, 1700. So you want to make sure which one of these would add up to give you that. Okay, so for example, I'm gonna say, 
Um, let me grab it there. That would be 1700. Let me give it a 1700 with plus four, 400, for example, giving you 2100. Okay, so you have a 2100 here. So you're gonna make that fragment here. Okay, so the 400 base pairs is small. I'm gonna go make one hint side there. Hint one. 400 base pairs and we have 1,700 1, base pairs left, don't we? So, boom, we have done first step, good job. We have gotten this, okay? And next one we're gonna form, fill these other three fragments, okay? 800, 1,000, 1,100. So from here, we already chosen that to be 1100 to be this area, didn't we? We did. So I'm gonna pick 1100 to be somewhere. Let me just make this a bit clearer. Because, yeah. There you go. So I'm gonna go with it, picking another hint site here. Hint. Giving us what? Giving us um, um, this 1100, right? Because we're already given it 100 base pairs, so probably a bigger site, but okay, okay. And so we have two more left. You have 800 and 1000. What do you do? We have we have these fragments here, 1800. So you're gonna form another one here one cut there because we have to make 800 and 800 is relatively smaller than 1000 so I'm gonna put 800 base pairs here and this is my hind 3 okay and last one would be here okay so that's hint side 2 this is hint side 3 this is hint side 1 matching this one, okay, because we followed the hint to be this way, and so what else are we going to do, so we have